Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Bash. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's a Sunday, man. And this is called episode 3.5. Why is it 3.5? Well, it's going to be episode 3 on Spotify. So anyone who listen to this on Spotify, you missed an episode. It wasn't a good episode. That's why I didn't release it to Spotify. I'm trying to release the best content possibly. I went on live... And I made a live episode and I just think I need to pre-record these, listen to them, think if they bring any value, then I can post them on Spotify and give you guys something good. Live is difficult. As I'm doing this with all my thoughts, I kind of have a script going on. So first off, Whiteout Survival fans, if you guys want to know a little bit more what's happening at the end of the video, I'm going to talk Whiteout Survival. I will be talking more about this Skr Ritual game. I downloaded it. I'm going to be playing it. I'm still looking for people to reach out to me on Discord. Uh, Our Discord, talking about Discord, our Discord is reaching near 1,000 members, which is dope. I added the link on my YouTube page. So join the Discord, man. You can always at and tag me. First thing I do, I wake up. I see if my wife messaged me then i see if discord's popping and i hop on on the voice chat frequently there so you can come have a chit chat with me there's lots of people in the voice chat so come talk come say hi tell me the newest games happen in pc xbox i don't have a playstation 4 yet or playstation 5 i should say but come talk video games in this discord that's the whole point of the discord is to grow a community and just like Get through all this BS. Um, we'll talk about it real quick here. Tencent Gaming. This has to do with Whiteout Survival, but not really. Tencent. Everyone knows Tencent. Tencent owns Epic Games. They own 37 games. They own Century Games. Well, 12% of Century Games. Why am I bringing this up? Everyone's seen the leaks of Whiteout Survival's game development, the source code. They're all saying it's out there. Yeah. Arctic Wilds looks like... Whiteout Survival cross State of Survival. Well, Whiteout Survival looks like State of Survival. State of Survival was made by Fun Plus. Fun Plus has a tie to 37 games, has a tie to Tencent, has a tie to Century Games. These are all the same game developers just kind of rinsing repeat, puts new skins on, and if the game takes off, great, they'll put effort into it. If it doesn't, if it only has 100,000, 1 million downloads, that's not enough for them to continue. Sure, if there's 1 million downloads and there's like 100,000 people spending 100,000, they're going to probably like keep putting money into it. But just be cautious out there for mobile gamers. I don't think a lot of people research on Google Play and Apple Store the developer that's making the game. Do some research. Maybe it's the game you're already bored of, like uh, the same developers, like a lot of people getting bored of Wild Survival. We're looking for new games right now because we're bored. But every game we kind of look at, a.k.a. Arctic Wilds, well, that's a carbon copy of the game. So do I really want to play the exact same thing I've been playing for two years? Probably not. But looking into it, it's like, well, this is this is the, the same reason why I'm upset. Droop Near Entertainment is, has ties to Century Games. So why should I stop playing Whiteout Survival to go play their exact same game somewhere else? It doesn't really make more sense when they're hopefully still going to keep developing Whiteout Survival for the next year or two. Shelf life for games, three years. I know The Walking Dead Survivors I played, they just had a three-year anniversary. They've fallen way down. They used to be like number one in Grossin, and now they've fallen way off the charts. So I could see the same thing happening with Whiteout Survival, not to be negative. Um, Whiteout Survival fam, at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about my band. So, Skr Ritual, I'm looking for a group of people. I'm going to add a new uh, Skr Ritual channel. Let's try and find some people to play this zombie game. It's a level zombie like Call of Duty, Ascension, and um, Kinder Toten. It's point based, so shoot the zombie five times in the body, six shot, headshot, might drop them down. Depending on the level you're on, it's all about getting the most points, buying guns, and making it together as a group. I'm hoping to play that this week because I'm, as you can see, I'm on the road. I'm literally making this at my lunchtime on the road. So after 
Skur Ritual this week. I'll be working still on some more Whiteout Survival. Uh, we got the update happening, so that's kind of big. I'm working on another new kind of series. The Did You Know, you guys probably have seen that. So anything Did You Know about video games, I'm going to try and post Did You Know on my community posts. Sometimes it might get as short, sometimes it might not. Another thing I'll be working on, Mobile Game of the Week. So Mobile Game of the Week is I'm going to choose one game, go through it, and I'm going to kind of tell you guys a bit about that game. I've actually really liked Sea of Conquest, and it's funny, because when Sea of Conquest, uh, I've been playing it um, occasionally, just on my PC. It's landscape, and Sea of Conquest kind of, um, it's it's really different out there for uh, a mobile game. One bonus, the first thing I look at, it has 170,000 members on Discord, which tells me there's still quite a few active players or there's still people downloading it daily so that's huge because the main thing is getting the free to play players in these games because as pay to win or minimal pay or or medium pay players so uh, goldfish tunas dolphins whales we need the free to play we need the goldfish if there's no goldfish there's no no dolphins there's no whales the game dies so sea of conquest I was fortunate enough that someone actually messaged me and hooked me up with the account. So I'm going to try and play a uh, farm account, learn the mechanics of the game. Then I'm in server 300 of Sea of Conquest, and I'll be able to give you guys, they got, they're got they on season three about to happen. I'll give you some juicy content from another game, which is dope. I don't have to grind it out for a year just to get up to the higher uh, ship level. A ship is like your HQ, your furnace, your town hall. And we're going to just kind of explain the difference with these ships, uh, these ship games. Because there's quite a few pirate games coming out there. Just like there's quite a few uh, frozen wasteland city games like Arctic Wilds and Wild Survival. Now, just to talk about the Dis- Discord ban real quickly, without a bunch of swear words. I might have sworn during all this. So I do apologize. I'm trying to keep these clean because apparently one of my biggest flaws is me swearing. So you catch me on lives. I'm going to swear a lot, but I'm Vulgar Bash. So Vulgar Bash is here to stay. I scrubbed some of my video. Why I scrubbed some of my videos. The Last Rafts video, the Arctic Wilds video, comparing to Whiteout Survival, I scrubbed them. And the reason why I scrubbed them, I got mad at the wrong people. After doing a bunch of research... I realize that I'm just getting mad at people on Discord that really probably have no idea what's going on. I think I realize that I actually know more than what Molly and Zinman do. I don't think those guys, those people are just getting paid to be on Discord and handle community posts. So she's getting paid for Facebook. She was doing Mafia World Last Wars. If you look up Mafia World Last Wars, it's kind of scary because Mafia World Last Wars was one year before Whiteout Survival. And it was Century Games' big, big uh, game. It was Mafia City ripoff is basically the same skin. And like, if you go two years ago, Mafia World, Mafia Wars, Mafia City, these are always the big games. But now they're kind of like, you know, ooh, fancy new car, Wido Survival. So when when Century Games realized Mafia World wasn't gonna recreate the success of Mafia City. They started pushing development on Whiteout Survival. What do I mean by that? You can go into Mafia World's Discord chat. And this is why Discord's so big. If you look up in 2023, there's players there. It'd be like players like me and Whiteout Survival saying, Hey, listen, Century Games is, ha- isn't going to be pushing any new content for this game anymore. They got a shiny new toy. Their shiny new toy in 2023 was Whiteout Survival. They released February 2023, global release, and then this post was like March, and I feel bad for this guy because he probably invested, I, I don't know how much money he invested, but he's, as soon as White O Survival's global release happened, Mafia World still hasn't seen a patch update in over a year, which is wild. So don't think it can't happen to White O Survival. Yes, Mafia World didn't have 10 million downloads. They're going to grease this. Do you think it's going to stay as long as State of Survival? I don't know. I think we're learning. I think we're learning as players to do more research on the games we're playing. So 
just be cautious, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm getting text messages. Apologize for that. Be cautious what what you download. Let's just look up the developers. Use this Discord. There's someone today just was asking about different games. I gave them a new uh, zombie game they can try out. I'm going to do some research into many game developers and see... Here, I, I pumped up Age of Empires Mobile Edition. <laughs> so far, when I looked up the developers, just with ChatGPT, which isn't accurate, it says Century Games owns that development company. So Century Games is working on the next big thing, man. Age of Empires drops this summer in August, global release. Let's see, man. In August, if Century Games has a big dropout, I mean, not Century Games, White House Survival has a big dropout, and Age of Empires is the new toy, I guarantee you guys, I guarantee you that this new toy uh, will make White House Survival just be like Mafia Wars. I think Age of Empires, it's such a big name, but now it's getting scary, guys. And this is why I scrub my content. Where am I ever going to make content for a, a game if if Tencent owns everything? And unless I get a huge amount of support on YouTube, which I did. My first video without without like any affiliation with a whiteout survival from being da- banned from Discord. You guys made my first video without whiteout survival support. The number one video. It's trending to be my number one video. It's going to be my Foundry video. And I appreciate that, guys. Like, I stepped away from them. I want to tell you guys the truth. And you guys basically said, yo, man, let's push Bash. Let's look up Bash Brothers content. And you guys killed it. That Canyon Clash video has almost almost 20,000 views. I freaking love you guys, man. That was crazy. So, the reason why I scrubbed. I'm trying to make it so I can make daily not daily videos but every two days i want a video for you guys because i got it takes some time to make good content guys i can't just record something shorts are easy two minute videos are easy i can record something make it send it to you but without support it's like oh man should i even make two videos this week should i just do one video a week see where it is i heard you guys when that 20k uh, views happen. I'm like, man, I gotta push harder. I gotta try harder. So I'm, I'm thinking of new content daily. I'm even asking my wife what I should work on, and she was never involved with this. Uh, Bash Sister One, still waiting on that interview. Yo, yo, yo. You can come on, and that's all you can do. Like, hop on for the interview and say, yo, yo, yo. There was some interviews I had lined up, but since I went like vulgar, I'm not sure I want to drag anyone into this battle because. I don't think I'm going to get content affiliation with any large game if I'm battling Tencent. So it means I can't make content on Discords for like the big games, White House Survival, Age of Empires. If it's the same people, I will not be able to be one of their content creators. It's all because I went off on this huge limb to be vulgar and tell you guys the truth about these games. Do you not? Like, I don't think I'd last three months as a content creator for Age of Empires because I'm going to tell you guys exactly how it is. And the moment they tell me is like, hey, don't tell people not to buy packs. I'm not saying that's what happened in White House Survival, but I'm going to tell you guys, there's no reason to buy heroes every time because like, let's just drop the esports dude. I don't know his, he's got to change his channel name because I can't even Google it without, all I can think of is esports. He's telling you guys to not skip generations of heroes. That is wild, man. That is false. That's just terrible, terrible advice. Dakineth. This is funny, man. I got a screenshot. That eSports guy and Dakineth both release videos like the same day. eSports says don't skip generations of a hero. Dakineth, who who is making White House Survival videos for a long time, he said skip generations of heroes. You guys know that I know you should be skipping Generations of Heroes. So Dakineth is actually pushing proper content. This esports guy, I don't know what it is, but that's more of a puppet, man. When he's like saying, don't skip Generations of Heroes, free-to-play players, minimal pay players, even max pay players. 
you might want to skip a generation of heroes because you might not have any battles coming up. So why do you want to max out a generation of heroes that, well, A, you can always purchase on the daily deals and use your mythic shards. So why is he saying to, to not skip heroes? It's, it's just wild. I didn't mean to make this a, a rant about him, but I I just don't understand it. And he's telling so many people they're like minimal pay players and giving bad advice. It's bonkers, man. So just be cautious. Look it up. Like my boy, Mr. Miyagi, which I don't want to drag him down with me, man. If <laughs> That's the thing. I was going to interview him, but I don't think I should bring him on because I don't want him getting in trouble with Vital Survival. I think he makes great content. Make sure you give him a follow. Yeah, guys, I know Spotify, this has ended up just mainly mobile gaming. But uh, any of you guys, if you came on Spotify and you find me on my Discord channel, let me know. I'm mainly YouTube, but I do want to push things to Spotify. And the podcast is releasing on Sunday. So this is episode 3.5 on YouTube, episode 3 on Spotify. Next episode drops next Sunday. I screwed that up, guys. But people kind of told me Tuesday, Wednesdays don't really, you know, that's not a good day to drop a podcast. Fridays is Spotify new releases all the time. But Sunday is kind of a chill day. Maybe Monday morning you might want to listen in on the way to work. So I think it's a better day for me to drop a podcast. So I appreciate, oh, what a choke at the end. I appreciate y'all. I don't edit my voice. This is all live. I just need to kind of like do this without reading comments and just getting to the point so yo much love if you guys want to play a game of steve conquest if you guys want to play scary ritual reach out to me let's keep making this happening bash brother one out peace love y'all